How do you know you're not reading the Bible wrong? You see, if you're just reading the Bible as a rule book, you are missing out entirely. How do I know this? Well, I find this in a small little story in the book of Numbers, Numbers 27. These five women go up to Moses. They, they're all daughters, and their dad, um, he never had a son. And so, according to law, they wouldn't have any land. And so they go up to Moses, they say, Moses, it's not fair that we don't get any land just because our, our dad didn't have any sons. So they make a case before Moses. Moses says, you got a good point. Let me see what God has to say about it. And God says something so shocking that should transform the way we understand how God thinks and how the Bible should be read. God says, yes, they have a point. And he says that we most certainly should give them the land. Listen, what they're doing is they're appealing not just to the letter of the law about inheritance being passed down to the son, but they're appealing to something bigger, the spirit of the law, that in Genesis, God created man and woman to be rulers, to be made in the image of God. They're not reading the Bible as a rule book. They're meditating on it to see what God really thinks of things. How are you reading the Bible?